Let me start by saying you are not alone. We've all forgotten the password for our router settings before. The truth is this isn't something we're using on a daily basis. We're not logging into our router settings every single day, so it's not uncommon for you to forget your password. The good news is there's a fairly quick workaround for this. So in this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be breaking down how you can regain access to your router settings if you've forgotten the password. Before we dive into the procedure, I want to be crystal clear about the solution we're resolving. We're talking about a situation where you don't remember the password to access your router settings, whether that be the security settings, the Wi-Fi network names and passwords, you need a password to be able to make changes to these settings, and this is what we're talking about here. If you've forgotten the password for your Wi-Fi networks, and you can't connect your devices to your wireless networks, this is a separate issue. Coincidentally, I've previously created a video that walks through how to resolve that issue as well, so I'll link to that up above if that's the problem you're having. Now that we're on the same page, let's dive into the procedure of regaining access to your router settings. Okay, here we are at your router settings page. This is the password that we've forgotten. I think this is what the password is. I give it a shot, incorrect password. You try a few different passwords with no luck. Okay, the logical thing to do here, let's go to forgot password. And it tells you right here, it's instructing us to reset our password to the factory default settings. Before we go about performing a factory reset of our router, I just want to make sure that you completely understand what this means. This basically means it will take your router back to the state it was in when you first received it. In other words, any customization you performed, whether that's creating custom Wi-Fi network names, creating custom passwords for those Wi-Fi networks, any security settings changes that you've made, any updates to the router, any firmware updates you've made, that will all go by the wayside here. We're literally going to be resetting the router as if you just pulled it out of the box. The reason I mention this is because if you have a lot of devices in your home network that are currently connected to your Wi-Fi networks, you might want to make a record of what those Wi-Fi network names and passwords are. That way, after you perform a factory reset of your router, you can set those Wi-Fi network names and passwords to what they were before. This might save you some time so you don't have to go and reconnect all of these devices to your wireless networks again. At this point, we're ready to perform a factory reset of our router, so let's take a closer look at the router itself to see exactly how to do that. Okay, here we are. We have our router here. We want to perform a factory reset of the device. In order to do that, usually on the back of the device itself, and you might have a hard time seeing it, but there is a little reset button right in here above my thumb. So what we need to do is we need to take a paper clip or another little pin and hold that down for 10 seconds. So let's see if we can do that. So we have our pin. You'll hear it click in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, after holding down the button for 10 seconds, you'll see your router will start to reboot. It's going to reinitialize with all of its original configuration. So let's give it a few minutes to do that. All right, once the router has completely rebooted, you get all green status lights here. Now we can go in and try to access our router settings again. The one thing you'll want to note is, as I mentioned previously, your Wi-Fi network names and passwords will all be reset to their original default values. You can usually find those on the bottom of the device itself. For me, here are the default network names and passwords right here. You have your 2G, your 5G, and then here's the pin over here. So that's what we're going to need to access to connect to these wireless networks initially. Okay, so as I mentioned, in order to access our router settings again, we need to connect to one of the default wireless networks that's being broadcast by our router. So let's go down, go to the available Wi-Fi networks. We're going to pick the 5G default wireless network. We're going to connect to it. 
It's gonna take a little bit longer than normal because it's essentially reconnecting to the Wi-Fi network for the first time. And then I'll have to put in that default pin for that default wireless network in order to connect to it. After checking on the bottom of my router to look at that default value, the password is 64224718. So let's connect to this wireless network. Again, it takes a little bit longer than normal because essentially you're connecting to this wireless network for the first time. Okay, here as you can see, it says no internet secured connection. That's because we haven't configured our router yet because we reset it to its factory settings. So let's access our router settings now. Okay, we have a browser window open. Let's go to the default access location for our router settings. If you're not sure where this is, you can find this on the bottom of your router's device as well on the informational sticker. But here we go, HTTP, tplink, wifi.net. TP-Link Wi-Fi.net doesn't support a secure connection. We want to continue to the site. This page is essentially recreating the password that we forgot in order to start this whole process. So it goes without saying, you'll want to either record this one, make sure it's a password you won't forget, make sure it's secured in a safe place, just so you don't have to run through this procedure again. So we're going to pick a password. And we're gonna go, let's get started. And what you'll realize here is you have to run through the router's initial setup wizard because you're essentially setting up the router for the first time. This is reflective of what I said earlier where all of your router settings that you previously changed are going to go back to their default settings. You can now start to reconfigure your router and set it up the way it was previously configured. Time zone, we're gonna go Eastern time. Dynamic IP, default MAC address. On this page, I'm going to disable Wi-Fi Smart Connect. I have my own feelings about Wi-Fi Smart Connect. I previously made a video detailing what it is and what it does. If you're curious, you can check that video out. Just know from my perspective, I don't like to use it. And here, as a result, by disabling Wi-Fi Smart Connect, it gives us the option of customizing our 2G and 5G networks. So here's where you can set your wireless networks and your associated passwords to what they were before. So that way your devices will automatically reconnect to your Wi-Fi networks and you don't have to reconnect them all again. At this stage, just continue walking through your router settings, making sure that it's set up the way you'd like it to, and then you'll be in good shape. Once you go through all the steps of the configuration wizard, it will take a few minutes here for your settings changes to take effect. But once that is completely done, you'll be all set. Your router will be good to go. And now that you've gone through the trouble of setting up your router again and configuring it the way you want it, make sure you don't forget that router's administrative settings password. If you have any questions about this procedure or about performing a factory reset of your router, please drop a comment below. If this video was helpful for you, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like. That way it gets shared with other people who are also locked out of their router settings. And lastly, if you like the content that I put out on my channel, please subscribe. I'll have plenty more useful videos coming out here on a weekly basis, and I'd love to have you come along for the ride. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.